Having traveled to dozens of places throughout his life, Anthony Bourdain fell in love with cities like Barcelona, Rome, and Hanoi. But there's one Japanese city that truly won his heart. Curious to know what it is? Keep watching. Before his 2018 death, Anthony Bourdain lived a life that most would envy. The New York native began his culinary career in 1978 and eventually worked in various New York establishments before making an impressive career change. The admired chef later became a beloved TV host and a best-selling author. In fact, it was his career as a chef that led him to write an article for The New Yorker in 1997. This launched Bourdain's literary career and later, his TV career. Like his incredibly popular No Reservations and Parts Unknown, his first show, A Cook's Tour, saw Bourdain travel to different countries to experience a variety of cultures and cuisines. Bourdain traveled to 68 different countries specifically for No Reservations. Although it's likely that the number of countries he visited in his lifetime is much higher, where did Bourdain like visiting the most? According to an interview with Forbes Travel Guide, Bourdain stated his favorite cities were Hanoi, Barcelona, Rome, but especially Tokyo. In 2017, he told Maxim that if he had to pick somewhere to live forever, it would be Tokyo. He had previously told Boots and All that if he could be anywhere at that moment, it would once again be Tokyo. As Bourdain put it, I'm in the mood for some sushi, and Tokyo is so fabulously confusing, challenging, exciting. Bourdain later reiterated the sentiment on a blog for his show Parts Unknown. While writing the blog post, Bourdain expressed that if he had to eat in only one city for the rest of his life, it would be Tokyo. Why the deep love? Reader's Digest reports that Bourdain was fascinated with the Japanese city because of its flavors and customs. In addition, he felt that he could never truly understand or know everything about Tokyo. Even if he lived there for the rest of his life, he felt like he would, quote, still die happily ignorant. In an interview with Forbes Travel Guide, Bourdain discussed that there would always be more to learn about both Japan and Tokyo. As he put it, Tokyo was all about fantasy. Part of the enchantment came from how different the city was from the culture he grew up in. In his interview with Maxim, Bourdain compared his first visit to taking his first acid trip. It was a transformative uh, experience. Time and time again, he praised both the city and country for their culture and beauty. Bourdain appreciated it so much that he practiced Japanese martial arts, including jujitsu, and later wrote a graphic novel about a sushi chef titled Get Jiro. Some of his favorite things to do while staying in Tokyo included visiting the robot restaurant, eating at department stores, and dining at an izakaya. Vietnam was another one of Bourdain's cherished destinations. So back in Vietnam, one of my favorite places on earth. Throughout his television career, the globetrotting chef filmed eight different episodes that centered on the country. Some of his destinations included Hanoi, Saigon, and the Central Highlands. In an interview with Condé Nast Traveler, Bourdain stated that visiting Vietnam was a life-changing moment. He explained that the food and culture were everything to him, telling the outlet, it just seemed like another planet, a delicious one that sort of sucked me in and never let go. In 2016, Bourdain went as far as inviting then-President Barack Obama to a meal in Hanoi. Other countries he enjoyed in Southeast Asia include Malaysia and Indonesia. As for places Bourdain didn't travel to or didn't enjoy, there were quite a few. He told Condé Nast Traveler that traveling to Romania was a letdown due to government restrictions. The travel explains Bourdain never visited Switzerland, Wales, and a number of African countries. Although it's unknown if he ever visited these places on his own, Bourdain never featured Athens, Greece, Norway, or Poland on any of his shows. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.